So you're wondering how to have different materials on one single object. Today I'll show you how to do it with the help of black masks. Let's start with our paint spray smart material and control D to duplicate it. Let's change the color to black. So now what's on top of our all layers will have the priority we'll see it on our screen. Right click, add black mask. As you see, the black mask fully turned off our layer. So now you see that we have here different options and we'll stick to polygon fill. In the polygon fill, also on the top and on the right, we have the same options. You can choose different options and see how they work but in this case we'll go with uv chunk fill it works basically that if we have our uv on the right side and we will select something that is cut it into a separate uv it will select it all so in this case we'll need to press on the middle part and you'll see that we have selected our middle part because we have a seam inside of the middle and this way we have fully covered our layer to see how our black mask works press alt left click and you will go to your mask view here to get back press left click on your layer and you will have material view one more important thing I forgot to mention that if we go and clear our mask and we'll add a paint and do the same things we have done before by clicking on the middle thing, we will have our black mask with some layers inside. So why it's important because this way we'll have much more control. For example, if we want to add some filter to our mask, for example, it's gonna be, uh, okay, let's do it this way. We'll have something painted, right, on top. And we'll add some blur slope filter, right? So now we'll have kind of more control because we will can adjust how our layers look and, and have much more different options. So, thanks. Want more tips? Download my free texturing guide below and join our Discord for help and insights. See you there.